Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chris, I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube and we have a what's sold video for you today. It is Wednesday, I wanna turn it over to Kathy and we're gonna see what's sold for us today. Hey guys, um, we do have a couple coffees I wanted to thank first. So first off was Sandy, bought us a coffee and said she's learned so much from us. Um, my favorite couple to watch. Oh, and then she said the day that we brought out our big old <laughs> clunky printer, she ended up getting um, the same kind of a label that day, and so she was able to know how to do it. Oh, cool. Um, because also her label printer wouldn't do those yeah. as well. So, yeah, thank you so much, Sandy. Hopefully I'm yours was easier was... to get out, because <laughs> yes. mine's like in a dungeon <laughs> over here. But thank you so much for the support, Sandy. And then uh, Christina bought us three coffees and said, you guys are my favorite resellers. I got bit by the bug to start reselling part-time in the summer. Awesome. She's also a hospice nurse um, and mom. I recently took your advice about Posture VA, signed up for the trial, and literally after three minutes got a sale. <laughs> I think that I think that happened to us too, and that's yeah. what hooked me. Like I knew, I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them my credit card information in two weeks. So. Um, I was literally floored. I find it refreshing that genuinely nice people are still on YouTube. Now, if you can get me your quality goods here in <laughs> MI, what's that, Michigan? Michigan, I think. I think so. Let yeah. us know. <laughs> <laughs> I was never good at geography in states, <laughs> but I'm getting better as a reseller. So. Um, I'd be all set. Thanks again. So thank you so much, Christina. Christina, you thank you so much for the support. Yeah. You, we have the most generous viewers here on YouTube. Appreciate all the support, guys. <laughs> And if you're interested in po what Posture VA is, we do have a video you can check out. I'll put it up here. Um, it just, you know, it's a, a shares your Poshmark closet and helps get you more sales. And so you can do, yeah, there's there's a ton you can yeah, do with it. Yeah, tons of stuff. <laughs> Go check out that video if it's something you're interested in. There is a two-week free uh, trial, and you don't even have to do a credit card to do that. So and if that's something you would like you... to do, go check it out. Once the trial ends, if you do want to do it, I've heard a lot of people, I wish I would have done this. Um, a lot of people said they just signed up for like the six month or a year at once because you get what 20% off the first yeah. month by using our code. And you can get 20% off the would whole be year. Whatever you pay for your first time is yeah. when you get the 20% off. So, I'm like, dang, I wish I would have done that. But <laughs> it's still a really good deal. It's only the regular price, even if you pay month to month, is 25 bucks. So, less than a dollar a day. It yeah. shares your closet. I mean, it, it asks you not to go over like 8,000 or so shares per day, but like, yeah. We have 800 items in our closet. I have mine set to share every three hours and send offers. So, yeah, it's definitely amazing. So, <laughs> try it out. If nothing else, you get two weeks of a free trial. Yeah. Um. So the first thing that's well today were these Choco men's sneakers. These are missing their insoles, so I almost didn't buy them, but I was like, they're in really good shape otherwise. So. I grabbed them, I did pay $9.99 for them, and they sold on Posh for $40 with discount shipping. Wow. So it was worth the pickup. It was worth it. I'm gonna send those out in a regional B box. Alrighty. Now I'm box A. <laughs> he's laying under the window. It's a little chilly today, so he's covering up his nose. Uh oh. Peeking out, he might not. <laughs> Don't tell him. <laughs> he gets um, creeped out by today that. Today he's slept, he's been on it like all day while I've been working, so yeah. I don't know. He's just still weird. <laughs> um, these are some TheraFit, which I think this might be my first time selling this brand. I could tell they were like a comfort shoe TheraFit. Um, yeah. Other comfort shoe brands, including flip flops, usually sell for at least around 30 bucks plus shipping. So I grabbed them. My average cost of goods this day was $8.96. So that's what I have into them. It took me a while to list them because, so they look almost like unworn, but there was like one of the sides. It's not like coming apart, but it's just like not, you can't really see it, but mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? Like it's just slightly separated from the edge. Oh, kind of um, like how. You could still wear them like this or you could glue it back if it bothered you. But for that reason, I listed them a little bit lower. So we got 27, 25 plus ship, which is still pretty good Yeah. for a pair of flip flops. So I feel like that's a very common thing that happens with yeah, sandals so like that. Yeah, so that's why I was like, I was going to have Chris glue it back for me and then I would disclose. But he's busy and I just needed to list some stuff that day. So I listed as is which flawed stuff definitely sells. Um, I prefer not to sell yeah. 
super flawed items, but that wasn't a bad flaw. Yeah, just as long as you take good photos, kind of point it out as best as you can. Yeah. Um, you know, oftentimes the buyer is willing to yeah. maybe spend a little time to glue it up or, you know. Get a better deal. I mean, those are yeah. probably $100 flip flops if you buy them new, so. Yeah. Um, so these, these, this is a Mario <laughs> Kart. Wii game. I actually bought this last night for, like, as I, I mentioned I was going to go to Play-Doh's and Once Upon a Child because they sent me some birthday coupons and I didn't get to go to Once Upon a Child because I forgot they closed at five now because I think they're just understaffed. Mm -hmm. Like the whole rest of the world, but <laughs> anyway, so I didn't get to go to Once Upon a Child, but I did get to go to Play-Doh's and then just before I left our house, I saw someone post on a local page um, some Wii games and two of them were Mario Kart and then Mario Super Sluggers. She wanted five bucks a piece. So I picked those up literally on my way. I didn't have to go out of the way. Yeah. Honestly, it made my trip more worth it because going to Play-Doh's is kind of out of the way if we're not going somewhere else anyway. So. Yeah. Yeah, I picked these up for five bucks each. This one sold already for $26.34 plus ship. So it's like an $18 profit just overnight. And I still have the Super Sluggers that already has a watcher. I'm not gonna cross post it yet because it's <laughs> over 100% sell through rate on eBay. So I'll just leave it there. Yeah. Honestly, probably even for like 30 days, but I think it'll sell in the next day or two, so. Yeah, and that's, we did not cross-list those no. games to the but other I platforms. I did forget to take the Harry Potter Legos Oh, down like we said night, we were. They didn't sell either yet, so. And the yeah. Mario, we will just um, put some cardboard around and then put that in a bubble mailer. Right, AJ. With these Skechers flats purple. I have $7.47 into these from an estate sale and they sold for $26.34 plus shipping. Those are super lightweight, so they'll just go out in a poly as well. So those are going first class then, huh? Yep, they only weigh like nine ounces. Wow. <laughs> All right, BF. This is something I bought at Play-Doh's last night. So for my 15 listings a day, I had done eight before I left the house. And I was like, I'll do my other seven after our kids go to bed. So I found enough to add Play-Dohs. And I like Play-Dohs because the stuff's like in super good shape. I don't yeah. have to, they don't write on the bottoms or anything like that. So I just had to take photos as is. So even though I pay up for it, I don't have to do like any extra work. Yeah. So the seven items I got listed when I got home were from Play-Dohs. Well, five of them were, and then the two video games. So. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, one of my Play-Doh's items already sold. So these are some Meryl sandals. So the coupon they gave me for my birthday was just $5 off. But then I also had some points coupon for $10 off. So what I have into these sandals is $7.49. That's, they were priced at eight, but after a coupon and then plus tax, I have $7.49 into them. Sold overnight for $36.35 plus shipping. So really good. Those are gonna ship out in a shoe box. Okay. Sold some shape ups. <laughs> uh, these ones I picked up at a local thrift for $6.99 and they sold for $31.80 plus shipping on eBay. And those do fit in a padded flat rate. So that's how they're going to ship. Alrighty. Um, and then I sold one of these actually. They didn't say they're a viewer, but I just feel like it's a viewer because, I don't know, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> just because, huh? <laughs> if you happen to view, be a viewer, let us know. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's the one with the black seal, so I'll double check before I box it up. But yeah, it's just that osmosis. These retail over a hundred bucks just for this little one ounce thing. Um, I found these at the bins a few months, like over... I don't know, I was with I Amber was when I was with Amber. Yeah, right? Amber, yeah. Amber Resales, yeah. So they're all expired. This one expired in March of 2021. I think I got it in May of 2021. So it was already expired when I got it, and then I took forever to list it. So Yeah. But it still sold. So somebody, I listed them at 50. I did see some other people selling expired ones in the 40 to 50 range. So I listed at 50. Someone offered 20. I took it. I have nothing into them at this point. I didn't even type these in as my cost of goods that day because... I didn't know if I was gonna sell them or trash right. them, but so I put my whole cost of goods and all the other items I got. So 
nothing under that, but sold for 20, so I get $16 profit. Um, and there are multiples. And it, since it yeah. is expired, we don't, we didn't list it on eBay just because we're afraid yeah. <laughs> of like so getting... So I listed it on Posh, <laughs> Mercari. Yeah. I haven't listed it on Facebook, but I saw a post on Instagram of somebody saying they sell proactive expired okay. really well on Facebook. So I didn't put it on Facebook because Facebook's really good at flagging like anything yeah. that they're don't agree with. So they have like, a lot of I algorithms any medical to sense type that. of thing they would just even if it wasn't expired, they would just not do it. But right. I might try to put some on Facebook, see what happens with that. Because I'm not worried about my account getting shut down. They would just probably take the listing down. So Right. Um, this is posh. I might do a little square box or we have like smaller boxes that I actually want to use. So, but yeah, $16 profit. If they all sell for that, that's still over $100 that I'm going to make off some expired skincare. <laughs> yeah. Was a fun sale to wake up to. This was, if you've been watching our channel for a while, um, when the bins opened back up after COVID, like when all the stores were shut down and then opened back up, but with like tons of restrictions. The Colorado Springs bins, at least, their restrictions were because um, they had to limit the number of people inside. So it was a two hour limit. So you could come in two hours. They gave you a cart with a number and they wrote your name down on a thing and your time and they would just be like, okay, you have two minutes <laughs> to get up front. So mm -hmm. anyways, that day I just had a bunch in my cart and I didn't have time to sort it cause like I just forgot what time it was and yeah. all that. So it's something I would have never bought, <laughs> but <laughs> I did because of that. The brand is Bobby Brooks. I don't know, it's just a, a denim. Kind of like a granny looking button sure. on, although I yeah. feel like you could upcycle it to something cuter. Yeah, it just has embroidered like flowers on it and stuff. But somebody bought it off Posh. I only had it listed for nine bucks, but they paid nine bucks. So huh, nice. I make it's six oh five, and I paid ninety one cents at the bins for it. So I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm actually didn't think that would ever sell. So all right, we'll just go in a little Tyvek mailer. Alrighty, and then A O. This is from my most recent bins haul with by resellers and Sarah Styles. Um, it's just that Eddie Bauer men's thermal, so nothing awesome. But I pulled this out of a bin. I paid a dollar two for it, and I sold it for twelve plus shipping on Facebook, like a day in a day of being listed. So I think that's worth it. And it's a ten dollar profit for me. Yeah. For a very easy work. So um, that will just ship out in a mailer. Shipping hip mailer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And this is actually a viewer sale next. They bought a bundle. So let's see, see why. Where's why? There it is. And then CK. And then BR. Alright, this is going out to our viewer Amy. She wrote Amy and I think it's Eli. I guess it could be Ellie. Ellie, but I think it's Eli. Mm. So thank you, Amy. Um, what she grabbed was this mental headgear like hat. So I have no idea what this is, but again, this was a bins find and it was no oh, tag, yeah. so I grabbed it. And I when I was looking it up, I think it's like just something you It's just like a snowboarding hat. Yeah, just wear to just yeah, to skiing, like skiing, snowboarding, sledding. Is it just like to be like noticeable to your family or yeah, just it's just to be for fun? Yeah, it's just like a crazy hat. You know, like when you go to Disney with the big group, you're like, Oh, wear this neon shirt and then we'll notice you. Yeah, I don't <laughs> know like if that. it's like that <laughs> but it's kind of like for fun just a cool yeah it's kind of fun so yeah when i went snowboarding as a kid there was kids that wore them and i wanted one you know yeah, yeah i've never heard of it the only reason i grabbed it is because it was new and then this is the i don't know if this brand is just rvca or riv color or what it's like a skateboarding brand i think mm. anyways this is a women's romper i actually just picked it up this last weekend and I almost left it just because I was like, there wasn't a lot of comps or anything, but I thought it was really nice. It looked basically brand new without tag. I figured I could get around 20 bucks out of it. So I grabbed it and 
Amy bought it, so yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I grabbed it. And then these are my son's old tea collection shorts. So what I have into the three items is 11.36, and what she bought them for is 41.65 plus shipping. So awesome. Thank you so much, Amy. Amy, thank you so much for the support. All right. So B G Ghostbusters. This is another one of my sun shirts that I actually bought um, over the summer at a garage sale for a buck. He wore it once during Halloween time, and then I listed it. Pretty cheap. Um, it's a size boys 10, 12, but it looks my son's seven, and he fits in like six, seven. So and it fit in well. So I like. Listed it low because it's very small compared yeah. to what size it said, and I put notes and measurements and everything. So, anyway, someone offered me seven dollars this morning, and I took it because I, you know, bought it for my son, not necessarily to sell for profit, mm -hmm. and I still made a small profit. So, all right, that will go in a mailer. And last but not least, CS. Right, another one of my son's items. I bought this off. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I need a backup camera. <laughs> um, this I bought off Kitizen for my son to wear, but I decided he's probably not going to wear it, so relisted it. I had bought it for thirteen, and I sold it for eighteen free ship. Shipping was five fifteen though, so I'm out a couple bucks, but it's all good. And that's a little bigger than a normal poly, so I'll use this little bit of a bigger size. A doggy mailer. Doggy. Oh, yeah, that's what's sold so far. All right. So, no other sales just yet. So we're going to get this stuff packed up and maybe we'll get another one while we're doing that. We'll Fingers see. crossed. <laughs> Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Oh, leave him. He wants to be warm. <laughs> and then he's going to be too warm. <laughs> it's so funny. He loves being under covers like that, like if we're laying on the couch or anything, we have blanket, he will jump up and cuddle up under the blanket like, I just want him to like breathe. crazy. <laughs> but then he, I feel like he does get hot too fast and then he'll get down. So he's oh. a weirdo. <laughs> he does kind of seem like he's not, not feeling too good of the past couple days. He's been super, super sleepy. And if you guys know Reese, he sleeps a lot anyway. <laughs> Are you talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we got everything all packed up. We did not get any more sales in. Nope. We got a new watcher <laughs> oh, on. Yeah, on our Dale of Norway sweater. I just sent an offer. Yeah. <laughs> one of you guys. You can buy it. I sent, I sent you a good offer. Um, but yeah, so my board so far today, I didn't write it up there, but hmm. I've done 10 of my 15. I must sticky for like $529 so far. So we're early today, yeah. it's only 311. We grab our kids at 340, so I'm gonna get them today because I am did most of my work. Crystal has to do a video, edit yep. a video. So I'm gonna hurry up and get my last five listings done and then go get them. Yeah, things are looking cleaned up here. Pretty clean. And that's what's going on today. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna get this stuff off to the post office, get the kids from school. Reese's not allowed to go in the student line anymore. One of the, <laughs> we got an email <laughs> saying that, you know, we, we used to take him to pick up the kids sometimes, um, but I guess another family's dog might have gotten out and <laughs> maybe, a, yeah, tried to bite a teacher or something. I don't know if they actually bit a teacher, but they sent an email saying no more dogs in the student pickup line, <laughs> but um Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks again to all of our viewers who are supporting the channel. We appreciate it. And that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.